dollar hauler. Dollar store haul. Oh. <laughs> In Canada, we have an amazing dollar store called Dollarama. It started out as a store where everything was a dollar, but over the years, they added a dollar, added a dollar. So now the most you can pay at Dollarama is $4. But with that price point, they're able to bring in some amazing deals, especially in toys. Everything I'm wearing is from the, the shirts, not from the dollar store. It's Halloween time, so we got lots of Halloween stuff. Okay, let's get into this. I got these Dinofrogs. Most of the things that I have found, I would say, were around $4. I mean, most of the brand name toys that I got were anyway. All right, Dinofrogs. I don't know if it's the complete set. I guess it's one, two, three, four of the smaller size it looks like the ones that don't have wings so <laughs> it's all four of them the red guy the green guy the blue guy and the yellow guy i don't know who these guys are do they turn into oh that's interesting two of them are humans and two of them are dinosaur pictures i don't know i know nothing about dinofros i just know that these look like quality figures. That one reminds me of the Flintstones. And then I found these Powerpuff Girl sets. Now I know these came out about a year ago, I think. These have been going on clearance everywhere and there's lots of this stuff. And then there's a new Powerpuff Girl that's causing some controversy, I know. But for four dollars, I was gonna get these. Now they have the weird eyes in these sets. I really like the translucent suits that they come with. So that's going to be fun, and I have recently bought other Powerpuff Girl stuff, so maybe I'll do a giant Powerpuff opening. I also picked up these. These look like great quality. There's eight different ones. I didn't want to pick up every single one quite yet, even though they're only $1.25 each. At least the artwork looks really good. I opened up one of the boxes to look inside to see, and they seem to be really nice. I'll have to open up these soon so I can go back and get the other four if they turn out to be really awesome. I got these flip-flops, one Despicable Me and one Paw Patrol, and I guess the erasers, but I'm going to try them on Snack and Luke and see how he likes them. They're cool. I love anything Paw Patrol. I um, probably wanted to get another Paw Patrol one, but just to get something different and then so the Snack and Loops won't fight. Well, maybe now they'll fight over the Paw Patrol ones because no one's going to want Despicable Me. I found some decorative black gauze for Halloween. I guess I'll put it back there and decorate the set coming this October. I thought that these were really nice, like little masks. I guess there's four in here and I think they're all different so I just thought these were really nice for a dollar twenty-five like their quality nice thick cardboard they're more natural and, and kind of subtle so it's more my taste it's kind of classy but instead of all flashy and shiny so I like these so I'm gonna try to decorate with these I found this Play-Doh Town stuff again Play-Doh Town is going on clearance everywhere right now these were at the dollar store for four dollars each. I especially love this set. Look at the dog. Brown clay is in this set, which is great for Snack and Luke. He likes to eat it. He thinks it's chocolate. It comes out really realistic. And I love these figures. I think they're adorable little figures. So just collecting them in general is fun. I have many sets of those. I'm not sure how popular those videos are, but everyone loves Play-Doh and I just really like the figures, so I'm happy to pick those up. What else do I got here? We got some envelopes for doing some mailings. Some contests are coming soon, so stay tuned. Look out for those. I showed you this last time, but I just thought since it was out here and I got it at the dollar store, it is a Bratz magnet board. You could get different properties and um, some generic ones. I just thought I would test out this one. I know that a lot of people out there really like the brat, so I'm gonna give that a whirl. And then these are the bins. Now I might have a hundred different ones of these and they come in different sizes, 
It's a $3 one and a $2 one. That's kind of expensive, but the fact that I can get all of the same ones, big ones, medium sized ones and small ones and I know that I can stack them all together so I just every once in a while I buy more and more of these bins and I keep my open toys in them, my smaller open toys and they're just perfect for that. I also picked up some batteries even though I do have rechargeable ones I just have to start using my rechargeable batteries properly again. I need to do my Robo Alive reviews that's what these batteries are for. I also got this tattoos for your face I thought I could put this on while I was reviewing Skeleta. You think I should do it? And this, the last thing I found today, this is a quality set for $4. And do you get an exclusive in there? Yes. There's an exclusive Frankie inside. I don't have a very large collection of these, so this probably will hold all of the ones that I have. So that's really cool. The pack is just so nice. What a great find for $4. Alright, I hope you liked my $4 Dollarama haul. If there's anything here that you would like me to review sooner than later, let me know. In the comments below, I would also love to hear your greatest find you've ever had from a dollar store. And I know these things are pretty hard to top. Dollarama is one of the best things about being in Canada. If I had to choose what my favorite is, I guess, oh. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I was going to do this review shirtless with just the chain on, but I, I thought I would look really scary, and I do look scary, and I want children to be afraid. Don't be afraid, I swear. I'm a nice guy.